Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you my quick makeup look that I'll do sometimes, like rarely, um, when I'm rushing kind of out of the door. I spent a lot of time on my hair, so I only have less than an hour left to do my makeup. So I don't really, you know, have time to do something super creative today. But I still wanted to film this because I figured it would be helpful considering that I'm, you know, just going to be getting out the door quickly. Um, so I am in a bit of a rush and I was second guessing myself whether I should film this or not because I was like, I just need to start getting ready. But I was like, let me just set up really quick and film. So I'm kind of in shambles because I just don't know like where to start and I do know where to start but everything's not organized like I would normally have it on my bed for a tutorial so I'm just kind of like freaking out <laughs> but I'm gonna try to do this. I noticed in my last video that I forgot to put on blush and I noticed it when I was at work and I was like oh my gosh I don't like how I look without blush. I just I'm so used to it now that I actually care that I have blush on now. Uh, I need to start with my brows, so I'm gonna take my uh, MAC 2 148 brush and I'm gonna use the MAC Cosmetics Pro and Wear Concealer in the color NC35. If I don't show products like up close and <laughs> taking my time, it's because I'm in a rush. So, uh, you know, I'll at least say the name, but I'm also listed down below for you guys so you guys can check out what I use down there as well in the description. Sorry if there's like a lot of background noise. But yeah, now I'm just gonna do um, my brows really quick. Um, usually, sometimes I'll skip this part because I'm in a rush, but I really want to do my brows. I really need to get my brows done because they're looking kinda ferocious right now, like really bad. I feel like when my brows aren't done, my line isn't as straight as it usually is. And I made you guys so far away. And now that I have everything blended, I'm going to put on some primer. So I'm going to be using MAC Cosmetics um, Natural Radiance Primer in the, in the color Radiant Yellow. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation in the color 365C. I'm going to use my Morphe M446 brush. And I'm gonna apply this really quick. I need to leave my house at at 12 to be at work on time, and it's 11.21 right now. So I basically have like around 40 minutes. Run this down my neck. Um, pretty much covered my whole face with it, but now I'm just gonna go back with a little bit more just to get some extra coverage. And I mean, depending on how much time you have, you don't have to add more, just get on what you can get on and keep going. Now I'm just going to take the concealer that I used earlier as well and just conceal under here. And I like to conceal like on my top lip as well, on my chin and on my forehead. And then I'm just going to blend all of this out. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is set my makeup. So I'm going to be using Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, the like original one. I forgot my sponge over there on my desk, but you know, I don't feel like getting up and I don't really want to spend time getting that. So I'm just going to keep it going and blend this out. And I'm going to use this Real Techniques setting brush. Get some of that translucent powder and just set it under here. Basically setting my whole face. <laughs> this brush is really tiny and it's really tedious to use a small brush, but I kind of just, I don't know, I kind of like using a small brush sometimes. And then I'm gonna grab a lot of the setting powder and kind of just grab some to bake a little bit underneath my eyes. I usually would obviously do this with a sponge, but my sponge is over there and I don't feel like getting it. So I'm just, just going to take a lot of product and do that. And then I'm also going to blend my lids out a little bit just so that I can set them as well. Now like crazy, I'm going to use my MAC Cosmetics 
dark tan mineralized skin finish powder. I use this to bronze my face. I'm going to be using Real Techniques contour brush to apply this. So let's do a time check. It is 11.30. So it's only been like, what, like almost 10 minutes. So I feel like I'm doing pretty good. I, I feel like I'm close to being done-ish. Like I just have to finish the rest of my skin, like highlight and blush after, after doing this bronzing. And then I have to do my brows really quick. And then after that, I just have to do mascara, but I do want to add faux freckles. Um, so I should be able to have time to do that part, but if I don't, then I'll probably just skip it for today since I'm in a little bit of a rush. I'm just gonna start taking off this extra powder now. Hopefully that was enough baking, but I'm only going to work, so I'm not really too concerned. I was gonna use <laughs> a different powder, but it's not over here, so skipping that. Now what I'm gonna do is do my highlight. So I like to use the Jackiana palette for my highlight. I like to use the colors Soleil and Trust Issues. And as you can see, Soleil, and I don't know if you can actually see, Soleil's kind of bright, but Soleil and Ginger are starting to hit the pan and I'm getting kind of nervous because I like just got this palette, I feel like, and I'm already hitting pans. Like, oh, like I need, I need it to last longer, but I know I, I use it a lot, so it's like, oh, kind of hard. But yeah, I'm just gonna use those two colors as my highlight today. Ooh, and it is glowing. So I forgot to use my MAC Cosmetics Gold Deposit Mineralized Skin Finish. I use this on top of my bronzer just to add some more glow. I'm gonna spray my brush with Fix Plus Spray by MAC. And I'm gonna grab that and just add it on top of the bronzer just to make it look shiny and extra glowy. Next, I'm going to do blush before I forget this time. I'm gonna be using MAC Cosmetics ginger libra blush and i'm just gonna use this is a bh cosmetics brush it's just a blush brush i don't know what number it is she's really coming together i'm, I'm really liking this more natural subtle look right now haven't done one in a while so maybe that's why i love this blush this blush is like my favorite one right now i love that it's like super orangey looking and i've been looking for one and this is like the perfect one i like to put a lot on a lot of blush as you can see now I'm going to do my brows, so I'm going to be using NYX Cosmetics Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade in the color Espresso. And I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills number 12 brush, their duo brush. I'm going to try to keep it like very subtle because, you know, we might as well since we're going for a more quick, fast, everyday, natural look natural but beat look you know <laughs> kind of filled in the side more than that side so i had to go back and feel more on this side really quickly i'm going to use this mac cosmetics art library flamboyant palette and i'm going to take this color right here this color is, is called samoa silk and i'm just going to take my setting brush by real techniques I'm gonna take a little bit of that color and since it's not like a super pigmented color like it's gonna blend into my skin tone a little bit more I'm just gonna brush it on my lid I feel like sometimes like after a while my lid will start creasing but if I have like a shadow sitting on top of it for some reason it just doesn't do it so I'm gonna do that underneath here as well now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use mascara I'm gonna be using MAC Cosmetics Hot and Naughty 2 Black Lash Mascara first actually I'm going to set my makeup gonna use my cosmetics fix plus spray so crazy how like I'll curl my hair and the curls will just start falling because <laughs> my hair doesn't like to hold any curl but I went for a more wavy look anyways now I'm gonna put on mascara quick time check before I do mascara it's 11:41, so I have like 19 minutes left to get ready okay I'm gonna let my mascara dry a little bit more before I put on another layer but I'm gonna go take off this foundation on my lip and then I'll show you what gloss I'm gonna put on because I'm just gonna put on a quick gloss and call it a little I don't want to do too much with my lips so yeah I'll be back so for the lip gloss I'm gonna be using it's gonna be get rich quick by MAC cosmetics I usually use another one that is more a, a little natural looking as well but 
I can't find it, so I don't have time to look for it, so it is what it is. But yeah, just use I'm gonna just use this no liner, no nothing, just on its own. Like that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the look. Very quick, very easy. Um, not much effort, just like on the go, you know. Leaving with 11.48 left, so that's good. Um, I could do my freckles, but I'm really not in the mood. I honestly want to touch up my hair already because the curls that I did, well, not really curls, but like I just tried to do like more of a wave, but it was a little bit more dramatic and I felt like it gave me more volume because my hair is kind of fine, so when it drops, it looks even, you know, f finer, but... Um, yeah, I tried to put like a wave just so that it has some type of body, but it fell a lot. So I'm going to try one more time before I leave. And if it falls again, it falls again. I can't do anything about it. But yeah, that's what my hair looks like. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do for the rest of my time before I leave. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!